was happy they put all. But all of them were picked and they Mark 16 17. Mark 16 17. Did he say some who speak in tongues? Did he say some who speak in tongues? He said, There. Who are they there? Those who are. There will. Not some will. If Jesus said they will speak in tongues, believe it and desire it. They give to be given to you. Praise God. Are we here? Rather than being biased about it, I was talking to somebody and said, No, me. Um, it's not a boy that will speak in tongues. And I said, Okay, even if it's not a boy that will speak in tongues, who told you you are not among those <laughs> who should speak in tongues? <laughs> Yeah, just in case you think you are, who to, was it God that said, No, no, it's not for you, it's not for you, leave, leave, it's not for you. And now, because we have the mindset that it's not for everybody, you will not desire it, right? You will not desire it. Meanwhile, you, it's part of it. Somebody asked a question, I think it was Omo Ibumu that asked a question about some people saying, No, must I speak in tongues and all of that? And I said, See, see it, it's not a requirement to go to heaven, but it's something that you need to enjoy in life. It's for everybody who believes. So, there's an advantage for speaking in tongues. But if you think that it's not for you, you will miss it. Now, guess what? I'm not compelling anyone. But I'm just showing us from the Bible. Right? Right? 1 Corinthians 14. Thank you, sir. Oh, everybody, read verse 1. Want to go? Pursue love. And one more time. And some people say, no, let us just live in love, live in faith. Bible says, do they too. Have love, have gift. Have love and have spiritual gifts. You don't take one aside. Do the two. <laughs> Do what? The two. Pursue love. Also desire what? Spiritual gifts. If you don't desire them, you will not have them. Something in verse 2. For he who speaks in tongues or does speak unto men, but to what? To God. Everybody read it. Want to go? Mm -hmm. For so that's why you see us saying Bakabarada Benataba Shata. Do you understand what I say? That's what the Bible said. <laughs> I was telling somebody, they say, people are saying what you don't understand. I now open the Bible. That's what the Bible said. You are not supposed to understand what you are saying. <laughs> that's why I'm right. If you understand it, it's not speaking in tongues. Praise God. Unless God gives you an understanding of it. God can give you an understanding of what you are saying. But the Bible said, He that you are not speaking to you, so why do you need to understand? So imagine if I raise a prayer here and I say, let us pray. And me, I'm praying that, God, I'm beginning to like one girl. Help me. And I'm now saying it in English. And all of you are listening to me. <laughs> you, you now say, oh boy, pastor. This one. So that's why God gave us tongues. So that we can hide details. So that even if you are listening to my prayer, you don't have an idea what I'm saying. God will be reading my prayer from my heart. Say, I know what Eric is saying. Hallelujah. So that is why it's beautiful to speak in tongues. Desire it. Now, the devil too doesn't even know what you are saying. Now, also another thing is that you see that we pray longer when we pray in tongues. If we start praying here, after five minutes, we we'll still be praying. One hour, we are still praying. If we come to prayer on Thursday, sometimes we'll pray for one hour non-stop. Like that, two hours. I've prayed for ten hours non-stop before. Right? And it's why. Why is that possible? Because I pray in tongues. So all I need is I'm praying. So speaking in tongues is very, is very sweet. If you don't desire it, it's okay. You still go to heaven, but you are missing something that God has given, given us to enjoy. You are just missing it. Can I add one scripture to that? Please open Acts 19. Then we'll stop here. I won't answer the third question. We'll stop here in the question and answer series. Next, or oh, open mouth, you might continue. Acts 19. Let me just drive this inside a little bit more. Acts 19. So, you guys are my... Uh, let's read together, right? So, want to go? And it happened. While Apollos was at Corinth, that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some. They were already disciples. That's very strange. They were already disciples. Next verse. And he said unto them, Want to go? Did you receive. One, one more time, start again. Did you. When you believe. So they were already believers. But there was a sign that was supposed to follow them that was not following them. We already saw the sign, right? We already saw the sign. He now said, no, they were already believers and the sign was not following them. So he now asked them, did you guys receive the Holy Spirit? Because the Spirit that gives you utterance. They have not even known that there's somebody called Holy Spirit. What? Imagine how that is. They don't even know that someone existed like a next verse. 
And when Paul had, they came upon them. And they, and, and they, and they were already believers, but they were missing this one. Paul now said, Kai, no, let me help you guys. You need to enter this thing. You are missing. He now laid his hand from them. They now received the Holy Spirit. And they, they didn't say some of them. <laughs> are you seeing? Every time they received the Holy Ghost, they didn't say some. All of them received and they spoke in tongues and they prophesied. Speaking in tongues is not the chiefest gift, but it's a sweet gift. There were 14 people that received this thing.